All right, everybody, we're going to talk about Howie's molt. This is the top of her shell, her little hamburger bun. It's called a carapace. And as you can see, you can see her eyes. They did molt with her. And here is the underside. It is smooth and slimy. And I am allergic to crabs, so hopefully I don't get a rash. But there you have it. That's her carapace. And now we'll look at her other parts. Uh, this is the bottom part of her. It did break apart. They didn't stay together. Let's take a closer look at some of the other structures in her. And these structures here are the old gills. Um, there's many of them. They're kind of finger-like, almost like little feathers. And they help bring oxygen to her body. As long as they're moist, they work for her to breathe air. And then in here, this green part you'll see is her digestive tract. That was part of her mouth there. That's where it began. The reason it is green is because her last meal was the uh, caviar. It was actually fish rope, but it had food coloring in it that was green. And so here is the top of her mouth there. You can see her little mustache. And then these little parts here were attached to her body to help move her mouthpieces. And um, what we're talking about when she had her issue is, is that she split the back of her leg there and she lost pressure in her shell when she was molting and that was my huge cause for concern during her molt um, is that she couldn't maintain pressure to push out of her shell. So everything you see here was extraordinarily difficult for Howie to uh, regenerate. But here she is over here uh, kind of dancing and playing around. Looks like she feels good. But um, continuing to look here I'm going to try to flip this over and show you the underside. You can see more of her mouth and her third maxilla pets. Um, it, she does kind of have teeth in there, but they're a little hard to see. They're not true teeth, but uh, they do help grind up her food. The long, flat, white part is actually part of her cheek, like the side of her shell. The other side did fall off. Um, it's very, very brittle. Um, so as even if I manipulate it and pick it up, it's going to fall apart. But those little strings there are what were attached to almost like tendons to help move her eyes and um, you know parts of her face. But as you can see here, um, her uh, claws are very tough still. So those are probably the toughest part. She really won't eat those. But she's going to work on eating parts of you know the inside fleshy parts and a lot of the crispy outer shell, kind of like you know potato chips for her. I know it may seem gross, but it is very healthy for her. Now let's go back and look at her underside one more time. These structures are actually part of her female anatomy. Those hold on to the eggs. Male crabs do not have those. So they kind of grip the egg sac to hold it underneath her in her apron. It's kind of very cool to see. There's so much more to crabs than just shedding their exoskeleton. It's a very intricate process, and I think you guys can now understand why it took a whole month. Oh, and see how brittle it is? It just falls apart, but I'll just give that back to Howie as I throw it in her cave. But even as I pick it up, everything just wants to fall apart. It's super brittle. In that little flap there is her poop flap, her anal opening, and that's part of her apron. Um, that's where she goes to the bathroom, so that is right below her mouth for anyone who didn't get to see the poop video. Crab's bodies are just very different than ours. Um, there's just a lot of anatomy that is intricate and hard to explain so I'm not a biologist you guys I'm just a crab mom so I did my best here all right let's talk about how she makes her sound all right so here are kind of what her teeth look like a little bit uh, they do squeak together and make the little creaky door sound and right here the back side of her mustache tap tap uh, that is a very hard structure um, it's almost as hard as her claws but that helps her um, balance all of the structures in her face because she does chew things like bone and she needs that extra structure and support around her mouth to be able to eat really hard things. Yeah, thanks for coming to our talk. Uh, chances are I'm wrong about a lot of things, but uh, this is just what I know because I'm a crab mom. But I hope you learned a lot and didn't get too grossed out. All right, bye guys.